Thank you so much for your interest in this video, for clicking on it, for being here. Appreciate your company. New Roots, what can I say? Ancelia Africana's that were delivered to me on the 9th of July, 2021, have been babied in their fancy Tupperwares. I don't know if that was the secret to success of growing New Roots already, or if it was the CalMagan seaweed solution that they've been tidying themselves over with for the last three weeks because I'm filming this at the point of when I'm seeing new roots as opposed to the day of uploading the video. Check this out. They're branching and there's an ant. Oh joy. But this is the important part. A branching root system. It's go time. There's not going to be much to do on this one because even if the roots here feel spongy and old and they're coming apart, I'm gonna use them for anchoring anyway. For the first year, they will serve their purpose, maintain humidity at the base of the orchid, but I will clean up all the sheaths. The next one here is Puff Adder, Joe and Puff Adder. Don't know what happened to Joe. Maybe he found a Puff Adder, but look, there's a new root coming right there and it's going all around where there's new growths. See this new root right there? And there are all these nubbins at the bottom. Here it is very, very clear to see. New roots and a nubbin swelling also with more new roots. And that is why I'm not going to wait anymore, but I will be cleaning off the sheaths. And then I'm going to check the root system that is left. Anything that looks like this, I might just peel off a little bit. But we're going to see for long term what the setup is going to be. Short term, they're going to go into fitting pot sizes, not oversized to manage for two years, just to tide them over until next year. And then we can bump them up into their forever home pots. This is now go time to get those new roots to survive and grow. I'll do the easy one on camera. Basically easy because there's only three canes. The sheaths have been misted on and off throughout the last weeks that I've had this orchid in my collection to help me with the humidity around the base so that it can at least not dry out so fast. But now that it's going in a pot and it's getting its new roots, I do want to make sure that I clean my orchid up as best as I can prior to then having it in a pot and not being able to manhandle it the way I can right now. So I'm just taking my toothbrush and taking the sheaths off with a little bit of a gentle scrub, not pressing too hard. And I'll be doing that until I'm satisfied or until the sunset, whichever comes first. <laughs> First of all, let's get some water in there. Even though the roots that we're dealing with today, the major roots, they're already damaged and old and bruised. But it is a habit of mine now to put water in a pot prior to any potting up, any filling up with lecker. Everything is much gentler. I'm sticking with that habit, even if I'm not dealing with live roots. The branching roots won't be affected by this. It's just me making sure I continue through with a habit. Right, let's stabilize our support into the pot with some large lecker at the base. I'm using large lecker for these Ancelias. I've got chunky roots on these orchids. They like a lot of air, as they say. I call it oxygen in the semi-hydro or self-watering setup. They like a lot of oxygen around their roots. Large lecker will provide that. I will have to do a lot of flushing in the coming two, three months anyway. They'll be perfectly fine. Oh. Fantastic. Now, we can go and pull a little bit on the vellum in here, but you see it's not coming off. So I'm not going to be too insistent. Every bit of humidity at this point in time in the pot helps. And also because it's inorganic media, the climate of the pot is not going to change drastically. So that is about a good level there, maybe just a little bit higher. 
Yeah. Let's tie her up while the roots are protected. And I'm speaking of the branching roots. The old roots don't need that much protection, but it's the branching roots. And once the leka is inside, they will be jiggling around, brushing up against the rough leka, and I don't want that. So this makes it easier for me to tie her up without too much of a fuss. Let's get her in place. Very, very excited to see these roots coming along. This is awesome, especially now as we are still in the hot months of the year, can get her established while it's hot, well, in temperatures that she prefers. My third one isn't there yet, but this one is on its way, and that's all there is to it. I'll give it a little bit of a draining. Now I don't have to worry about any roots failing. Everything that's growing now is going to go and get accustomed to this setup as of immediately. I'm going to leave a little bit more in the reservoir than I normally would. Adds to the humidity factor right at the bottom of the pot, encouraging those branching roots to dive in. Fundamental little piece of detail here. My tag. Oh, so happy days. Right, I'm gonna show you the other one before and after. That's all I'm going to be messing about with at this point in time. I'm gonna let the canes plump up and then I can get at them a little bit better as well once they are established in the pot. But for now, yeah, she's going in a pot and I'll see you just now when I'm done. Here they are. Two out of three are in their pots, not their forever homes, but at least they're cleaned up and they are ready to be rooting themselves in and digging their feet into that lecker. This one right here, I double supported this cane, it just didn't feel as tough and as well connected at the base. So I supported that against another one. I gave the Joe Cross with Puff Adder a bigger pot because clearly there's a lot more growth in there. It's probably about three coming out that I can see. So it has a bigger pot, whereas Kenya Mud here can bide its time all by its lonesome in a smaller pot. But here we go, happy days, that's two more out of the way and let the grow begin. We've got three more months of great weather at least to get them rooted in. Thank you so, so much for watching this quick vid. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Really appreciate your time. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.